Hi guys, today I'm going to Pride. I'm going to be working with Barclays today. I'm going to be on the float and um, on the float or on the side of the float. I really don't know. I've never been to Manchester Pride. I have just moved to Manchester and um, I'm going to get ready with you guys and um, I'm in a little bit of a time crunch because I woke up a little bit later than my alarm. Um, so that's a bit annoying, but let's get started. I'm gonna apply a little bit of my Trilogy Rose Hip Oil. I need a mirror. What's going on? Oh my god, there's a spot coming and I've got this huge spot there as well. I'm gonna do a little bit of Anastasia Dip Brow Pump. Look how glowing my skin is after that oil though. I love it. Love a bit of that. And now because I've applied an oil, I can't open my lids. Oh, this is really annoying. Yeah, I got it open. I'm just gonna go like, you know, slaying, casually slaying soft gum. I am excited to go to Pride. It is quite early for me because we have to go to the blogger breakfast first. Let's see how that goes. I don't really know anyone. I'm gonna be honest, when I come to these like sort of like blogger events, I don't really like. I do engage, but my friends are basically um, Holly and Sabrina, which you've both seen of my channel. And that's pretty much like the friends that I've got, like, in terms of YouTube anyway. And I do consider them family and like, they're like sisters to me. I find it difficult to connect with other YouTubers. Maybe it's because I'm not letting myself like connect with them or something like that. But it's just like something that I've always had. Uh, definitely like from observation and everything, like I don't, I always just question people's intentions just because like, you know, sometimes it is all about the numbers game and I get that it is a business at the end of the day and like, you know, people, it's people's jobs, but I like genuine people and I'm not just going to make fake friendships for the sake of a collab and the sake of subscribers. I've got like five people supporting me and, um, that's fine with me, you know? That's fine with me if that's the five people that like are gonna support me truly and genuinely for my craft and what I do, then I'd rather have that, honestly. I was just cleaning up that eyebrow with some concealer. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that concealer on too as my base as well for my eyeshadow. Everyone's gonna have really slaying makeup today, aren't they? But I don't have the time for that right now, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do what I do. I'm gonna use my Makeup Geek in the Nude palette, and it's got a bunch of like neutralish colors, so I'm just gonna use a bunch of that and see how we go. I do the wet base technique and do the eyeshadow on top of that. Um, I think it's a very UK thing, to be fair. It's a very UK thing to do that. Um, a lot of US uh, makeup enthusiasts do the whole dry method where they set the base, but a lot of UK, we use wet. It's because it's much more punchier and the blend is different, but it comes out slaying at the end. I'm just using a bunch of the colours. It's quite a more neutral it's got a bunch of cool tones and warm tones within the palette i really like it i've always liked makeup geek eyeshadows i think they're fantastic i think that you know um a lot of different brands have released more eyeshadows recently as of like the past two years so like makeup geek have taken a back seat but they've always been they've always served you know very softish I'm just gonna do my winged liner. I am on time crunch right now. I'm on 8.20 and I need to leave by like 8.45. But I don't even know what I'm wearing yet either. Like I really have no idea. Can't go wrong with a bit of winged liner. I'm gonna use... <sighs> it's nice to wear makeup, you know, because all week I just get to, um, I don't have the time to get ready in the morning for work to like do my makeup and obviously it's like a different environment in that way. So 
to be honest, I don't really wear makeup during the day for work. So this is nice. It's just really early. Imagine getting ready for work for nine and you're doing a full face beat. It's just a lot, to be honest. It's just a bit of a lot. It's, it's just a lot. Don't know if I'd be able to hack it. So honestly, like I know what it's like to get ready. It takes a while. It takes a village. So, um, props to all the girls that do a full face beat like every morning. Cause this is effort. This is bare effort. Are you kidding? I do love it. I do love makeup. Well, that's kind of like getting tacky or whatever. I'm gonna use my Revolution Fast Base Stick and apply that onto my beard just because I don't want a five o'clock shadow. And then I'm just gonna apply like a normal foundation over the top. So if I apply this, then it hopefully covers. <laughs> It hopefully covers my beard. When it comes to like these YouTube environments, yeah, maybe it is my fault because I don't approach people. But it's like everyone's already like on their groups and like on their little friendship groups in that way. And it's like, well, I'm on my ones and I don't want to seem like a bag. Like, I'm sure some people can relate to that. Like, not in terms of like being in YouTube events or whatever, if you do, do YouTube. But like, you know when you're in a situation where like you're on your own and like you don't want to approach people because like it seems a bit baggy, like I just, it's just not a bit of me. It's just not a bit of me and like, yeah, maybe I should like change my attitude in terms of that because I do think that I am quite a people person. I do think I'm quite a people person outside of YouTube, but when it comes to YouTube, I don't know, I just like, I'm just not that. I don't know. Tell me down below though, like, do you think that I'm taking it a little bit too seriously in that way, like, just lighten up and, like, actually make connections with people? Or do you get what I mean? It's just, like, all this YouTube drama, I don't want to get involved with it. Like, it's just not, it's just not, I don't like this YouTube politics that goes on on YouTube. Like, I don't like it, so I try to stay away from people and just do my own thing. Yep, lashes look good. Charlotte Tilbury Foundation, this is the light wonder. Zoeva 103 Buffer Brush. This is quite like a light foundation in terms of like, it's not very heavy. Um, so I just apply coverage where I need it, which is my beard area, and then the rest doesn't really need that much. I do think as I've gotten older, I've gained more of a five o'clock shadow than before. Um, so it needs to be covered up. I think my bone structure as well has changed. It's gotten a lot harsher. So I need to watch out for where I apply my contours and where I apply my makeup because then it can appear really like masculine. I love this. I'm gonna use two highlighters. I'm gonna use my Try Blend highlighter from Barry M. Boom. I'm gonna use my Mary Luminizer because it's sickening. And I just wanna to top off the highlight with a highlight. I'm using my Stila Magnificent Metals in Smoldering Satin. Apply that to the inner corner of the eye. Only I already applied a little bit earlier. That's nice, that's lovely. <clears throat> I'm gonna use a little bit of my Sephora uh, Perfection Mist Nude Glow and just apply that to the high points. Wow. That was not a miss at all. Let me just blend it out a little bit. Just makes the skin wet. I'm gonna use my Kika, no, <laughs> this is not Kika, this is Catrice uh, Makeup Freezing Spray. I love the packaging. It reminds me of MAC Tarquatic. Smells good. I'm just gonna let that dry and apply my lip collar. And for lips, I'm going to use my Androgyny by Jeffree Star. By the way, oh my gosh. Who's watched the um, 
the Jeffree Star Shane series. I fucking loved it. It was the most hilarious. It was the most hilarious. It was the most emotional. Um, it, most, it was the most epic series I've ever seen on YouTube. Honestly, I loved every minute of it. And I thought it was just so funny. And uh, obviously, Jeffree Star had opened up a lot in that way on the series and I really appreciate it. it he's someone that I always did support even through the whole controversy and everything I do know about the controversy and everything about like the racism or whatever but like I still watched him even through that and I did accept his apology in that way because like we're all people I'm stupid like we're not all on all the time like we're not all perfect all the time and um i do relate to him about like you know in terms of like feeling alone or whatever i want my lips to be shining 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 so i'm gonna use my bammy banks cosmetics thank you so much to bammy banks um, this is my uni mate's uh, brand, Bambi Banks Cosmetics. This is Clarity. She released her new lip glosses, so I'm gonna leave a link down below. I actually wore caramel, but this is the first time I'm wearing Clarity. So it's like a clear gloss with like bronzy, coppery shimmer. It brought a little bit of colour back to my lips as well. Which is good because it was looking a little bit pale and ashy. It was looking a bit grey. Oh my gosh, it's gorge. I'm having breakfast with I'm having breakfast at Harvey Nichols before the Pride event today, so I'm wearing lip gloss, so I need to reapply this. I have got like my wigs all laid out in my guest room right now, and then I've got all my outfits in here. So I'm just gonna get changed. So, I'm just gonna get ready and then I'm gonna come back hopefully and before I go. Okay guys, so I am now ready. Um, so, what I'm wearing is my 30 inches hair, my earrings from eBay. My dress is from Pretty Little Thing, it's like a cape dress. And I'm wearing my Pretty Little Thing heels as well. And I'm not wearing pads today. Um, so I'm just like got bare legs out, so yeah, the lighting is so yellow. But this is what I'm wearing. Sorry for my messy room. I've just been trying outfits out, but this is this is what I'm wearing. Yep, so I'm ready to go. I am ready to go for Pride and I am going to be covering it on my Instagram story. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, then you can um yeah, you should follow me. You should follow me because it's a lot of fun. And I'll see you guys on my next video. I love you guys so much. Bye!